What the RMT union leader Mick Lynch versus the media sensation shows us is the reductive parameters interviews are conducted under. Unencumbered by the need to play politics, Mick can just call a politician a lie to his face. You've also lied that we left negotiations on Saturday and went to a rally. There were no negotiations scheduled for Saturday. You are a liar. Notice here Chris Philp MP does not even refute being called a liar. Right, well, there's let's a video, just hang there's on. a video of him walking out this afternoon yeah. giving a press conference. It's on videotape. And then we went back to the talks. Yeah, You're having, lying. Having, having said the strike's going to go ahead. You are a liar. Or here where Jonathan Gullis MP calls on Mick to show contrition when Armed Forces veterans won't be able to get to the Armed Forces Day because of the strike. We should be apologising to the doctors and nurses who can't get to hospital, the patients who can't get their operation, the kids who will miss out on their education today, but also those Armed Forces veterans who risk their lives for our freedoms who won't be able to celebrate Armed Forces Day on Saturday. Do you want to apologise for all that, Mick? Well, I think Jonathan should apologise for talking nonsense. And I don't want people to be Good to know uh, inconvenienced, be and I want a settlement to this dispute. I can't do that with a backbench MP who's just learnt it off a script. It is in mixed exchanges with interviewers, though, that demonstrates a culture of salacious pigeonholing in the pursuit of a playable soundbite. Some sensationalist tidbit that means real facts are just sidelined. Watch as Richard Madeley tries to pin Mick as a Marxist. Uh, you've been accused severally in the last few weeks of being a Marxist. It happened again last night. Uh, a backbench Tory MP said you were a Marxist with no interest in anything other than trying to tear down the government. Now, are you or are you not a Marxist? Because if you are a Marxist, then you're into revolution and into bringing down capitalism. So, are you or aren't you? <laughs> Richard, you do come up with the most remarkable twaddle sometimes, I've got I to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or here, Kay Burley implying that anyone trying to cross the picket line might encounter violence. Some of your members will still stay on the picket lines. What will they do if agency workers try to cross those picket lines? Well, we will picket them. What do you think we'll do? We run a picket line and we'll ask them not to go to work. Do you not know how a picket what line works? What do they do anyway? Uh, what, will the, <laughs> what will picketing involve? Well, you can see what picket it involves. I can't believe this line of questioning. And finally, Pierce Morgan making the whole thing about a Thunderbird you puppet. Morgan Live, this is your Facebook page. It's a picture yeah, of, can you a see picture the of the hood from Thunderbirds. Can you see the likeness? Well, I'm just wondering where the comparison goes, because he was obviously <laughs> an evil criminal terrorist mastermind. Is that the level you're pitching this at, Piers? That is a joke amongst me and my friends, and you can see the likeness, if you like. So He's you're not denying that you are eyebrows. comparing yourself to the hood? I'm not comparing myself to anyone. I'm me. The most evil puppet made out of vinyl in the world. Is that the level your journalism's at these days? Oh, it makes <sighs> me laugh honestly, that you have the hood as your profile pic, because that's a man who wreaked havoc on the world. Well, it makes me laugh that your level of journalism has descended so far that you can't think of any other question rather than a, a I thing didn't about put, the I didn't put that picture on your profile page. Click here for Mick Lynch on negotiations.